erupted as a peaceful protest soon spiralled out of control as police tried to clear filling the air. Protesters were forced to abandon their efforts to stop the town's newly sworn in ethnic Albanian mayor from entering. Serbs are angry about the election of ethnic Albanian mayors. On Friday, there was violent confrontation. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time I wanted to do a current events type of video for you guys because I think this is extremely important for a couple of different reasons. Number one is as an AK community, we should keep our ear to the ground as to all of the different current events things going on regardless if that is the situation between Ukraine and Russia or uh, what's happening in the Balkans right now or you know anywhere else in the United States or the former comm bloc countries. With that being said, there has been escalated tensions between Serbia and Kosovo. If you guys are not familiar, these are two countries that was a part of former Yugoslavia. In the 1990s, they broke up and quote unquote balkanized. There was a very vicious war that uh, was fought in that region to establish the <laughs> borders of the individual countries. And um, that strife has kind of perpetuated itself into the 20th century. Let's talk about what is actually happening right now. Just kind of give you a 50,000 foot view of what happened. I'm not here to take sides. I'm not here to say uh, one side's doing it right and the other side's doing it wrong. But uh, what I am here to say is the president of Serbia has just halted any type of firearm export from Serbia. What does that mean, especially for Zastava USA? we are going to have to wait and see, unfortunately, but I have some good news. We'll talk about that here in just a second. We'll talk about some bad news here as well. The 50,000 foot view of what has happened essentially is that there is a, um, a disagreement of how a election was handled here in the last couple of months. Because of that, some local Serbians uh, blocked a government building, uh, not allowing the newly elected government officials into their offices. And because of that, uh, the local police was called into the situation. They launched tear gas into the crowd, dispersing them. I don't believe that anyone was seriously injured, which is, which is good, uh, but that has caused a... Um, a bit of escalated tensions between Serbia and Kosovo who border each other. The Serbian president has come out and said that he is uh, focused on safeguarding all Serbians. That is very dangerous language because he's not talking about the people inside his own country. He's also talking about the Serbians in Kosovo as well. Kosovo has uh, basically declared their independence in 2008 and Serbia does not recognize that independence. So there's a, there's, there's a lot going on there. And again, I'm not a um, expert when it comes to everything going on in the Balkans. By all means, if I'm getting it wrong, let me know down in the comment section down below, but that is a very high level of what has happened over the last month or so to give you some context as to this. Now, as I mentioned, the Serbian president has come out and said that he is nixing all firearm exports. So, you know, that is going to cause problems with people looking for the M70, which is uh, my beautiful M70 that I just got. And then I also picked up a M90 here recently as well. I've got a M92 that is inbound to the channel as well. And then of course, I've had the M85 uh, on the channel also. So what does that mean for those people who are interested in picking up a ZPAP? Well, 
First and foremost, I need to say a huge thank you to the uh, AK Quality Enforcement uh, feed over on Instagram. If you guys are not following him, I highly suggest it because he has done a boatload of work in the AK community, not only improving quality from certain manufacturers, having them relook at their processes and essentially honoring their um, their warranties and stuff like that. If you guys have problems, if you have concerns with your AKs, definitely reach out to him. He is a great source of um, encouragement on what you should do and also pointing out to companies what they should do as well. But he posted a uh, statement from Zastapa USA and they are stating this. Dear value customers, we have been aware of the recent news regarding the weapon exportation ban imposed by the Serbian government. We understand that many of you have reached out to us seeking clarity on whether this will impact the export of ZPAT firearms from Zastava Arms USA. At this time, we would like to inform you that we have not received any official notice from Zastava Arms factory regarding the ban. Therefore, we are unable to confirm whether the ZPAP exports will be affected. As you may know, Zastava factory is owned by the Ministry of Defense and their primary focus is to cater to the needs of the Serbian military. While we understand the concerns surrounding this situation, we sincerely hope that the security situation in the region will be resolved peacefully. We believe that peace is the best interest of all people in the Balkans and we remain committed to supporting our customers and the community in any way we can. Please be assured that as of now, we are continuing to receive shipments as usual. We deeply appreciate your ongoing support and trust in our products and services. Thank you, Zastava Arms USA. So there you have it, some positive news coming out of Zastava Arms USA. They are still receiving firearms, but I will say that my local shop uh, did just do a checkup on what they are seeing as far as inventory and uh, the difference between yesterday and today is quite shocking. There was inventory yesterday, there is no inventory today, so I would suspect that a lot of gun shops are buying up as many uh, of these rifles as they can right now. And that is going to cause a number of different issues. But there are things that we as the AK community can do to kind of help the situation. Number one, do not panic buy. Do not panic buy. I uh, highly encourage you guys to just monitor the situation. If you're on the fence on whether or not you should get one or not should get one, you know, you know, take some time, think it through. I mean, I'm always of the mind to just go ahead and get something <laughs> when I want it, but I'm in that type of situation that I can do that. That may not be you. If you're on the fence, maybe consider going ahead and jumping on it, but if it's something that you don't necessarily need to spend the money on, I would suggest not to panic buy. That's number one. Number two is be extremely mindful of price gouging. As it stands right now, you should be expecting a price range somewhere around that $1,000 to $1,200 mark. If you see anything well above that, I would not buy from them. We have seen companies like Cheaper Than Dirt in the past who has price gouged, trying to capitalize on these types of situations. And I highly encourage you guys not to do that. Don't buy into that. And if you do see it, you need to call it out on every social media platform you possibly can. Call those people out and encourage them to not do that. The third thing that we can do is help your friends out. If you've got a rifle that you just don't need and you're looking to maybe unload it for something else, uh, maybe you've got a ZPAP that you, um, you know, want to help a friend out and get them into the AK community, look at the secondary market. You know, go to gun shows, uh, look at, um, you know, some of the auction sites, look at some of the, um, you know, private sale sites that are out there as well and see if there are ways for you to legally obtain some lightly, gently used ZPAPs to kind of 
thwart any type of panic buying and price gouging as well. Uh, that is really the best advice that I can give you guys. Um, I hate to be the type of person that's like, oh, I got mine, you know, uh, but I've been a big fan of the ZPAP rifles for a very, very long time and have been encouraging you guys to check them out. So unfortunately, we're kind of in a situation where if you don't have yours by the end of the year, things might be really, really bad. But again, I'm encouraging guys, do not panic buy. That's the worst thing that we can possibly do. With that being said, I really encourage you guys to uh, spread this out. That is going to be the best way to get the word out, not only about the AK Quality Enforcement uh, feed over on Instagram. He's a great guy uh, and is really concerned about doing the AK community good but also to make sure that uh, we have a plan of action to get this information out there as best as we possibly can so that we can really fight back against price gouging and panic buying and stuff like that. So please share this out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. I would really appreciate that as well. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so very much. We're gonna catch you guys next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later.